that chap there. So, here I've got my little Unity project. I can turn around at a fairly reasonable speed and go up and down with W, S, and D. Space to move, and you can see you can fly past all of the planets. Go to scene mode, we can see the different planets have textures which are fairly easily created. A rectangular projection will be automatically mapped to a sphere properly in Unity, which is very good. If we just go to the starship, it's a sort of Star Trek design starship. Not particularly good. As you can see, the insignia is completely the wrong place. Designed it in Blender. It's proof of concept, of course, and I'm hoping to design better ships in future. Got an interesting scaling system. At the scale of a ship, one unity unit is equal to 100 meters. A scale of a planet or a star, a unity unit is equal to about 1,000 kilometers, so the stars and planets are at the same scale. In a star system, a unit is equal to a light second, which makes moving very convenient relative to light speed. This is measured from the star surface, otherwise most of the inner planets would be inside of the sun. The ship speed is measured in multiples of C, of course, I'll take that to warp factor at some point. Between stars, a unit's equal to one six thousandth of a light year. This means you can travel one thousand light years in a sixth of a minute, or around ten thousand light years per second. This sun radius, just for reference, planetary motion is going to be about one year an hour, I haven't set that up yet. Stellar system scales are varied, but whatever looks reasonable. Here we go into Alpha Centauri. You can see we've got Proxima Centauri orbit rotator, just to make sure it's the right angle. We've got the Proxima Centauri orbit. So if we rotate this, it goes around on a different axis. If we just set the orbit speed to around 10, play. See the two binary stars going around each other, while Proxima Centauri goes around this way. If we go into the game, and I'll just show it in the actual compiled for better resolution. If we go slowly we can actually see the detail and the textures for the planet. There's even a ship there which is a slightly different design which I also made using Blender. You can see there's quite good detail on the textures for these planets. Another little detail added if we fly to Proxima Centauri you'll see the ship becomes red. A sort of reddish colour. Of course because Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf. The background's created quite simply. You just create a new material. Set the shader to skybox six sided. I'll delete that. We've already done it with this one. And we can see that each of these is set. The front, back, left and right are all set to the picture of the Milky Way with stars and the up and down are just set to pictures of stars to give it the nice background and a good feel that it has. I'm hoping to release this game at some point. This is not even alpha, it's more pre-release because I haven't even added any real game mechanics yet. But it's a nice little sneak preview and I'll keep you um, informed as to whether or not I'll add it to some kind of project website. Obviously not Steam because getting greenlighted on Steam is a very difficult process and you have to have a very very advanced game but there are plenty of websites that will accept almost any unity project so I will definitely try to get it up on there and I'll do a video notifying you with a link in the description to download it if I ever do.